Chapter 5 of Drop Into Genius asks the question, can you meditate like a master in three minutes? If you don't have a regular meditation practice right now, it may be because you don't feel you have the time to do it. And actually, that was one of the reasons why I stopped meditating years ago. You see, it's been proven that meditation is probably one of the most beneficial things that you can possibly do for your mind and for your life. There was a survey of scientific research that's been done on meditation. Over 2,000 studies were reviewed. And without any qualification, meditation is so beneficial to us. But years ago, when I first learned how to meditate in the Himalayan tradition of yoga meditation, there were so many disciplines that were required and eventually it didn't fit into my lifestyle as a father, as a business owner, as a husband, meditation was just very inconvenient. Almost 30 years later, I attended a retreat, a silence retreat with the teacher that I had originally learned meditation from, Swami Veda Bharati. And one of the things that he said is absolutely blew my mind about three days into this retreat, he said, all of you studied with me 30 years ago. You know that we had a lot of disciplines involved with meditation. He said, forget about them. And if I hadn't been in silence, I would have said, what? He said, don't bother with all those disciplines. Just take three minutes, a couple of times a day, and drop in to this silence. And at that moment, that's exactly what I did. And there's this powerful, palpable experience of deep inner silence, a calm, a peace that's so remarkable. And anybody has access to that. In fact, meditation isn't an altered state of consciousness. It's really the unaltered state of consciousness. It's that place of calm which is our natural essence. It's that place that is at the base of who we are. If you think about a hub and a spinning wheel, usually most of us are living on the outside of that wheel and it feels like we're moving very, very fast. At the very center of that hub, it's turning very gently. And that's what happens when you go into meditation. So this chapter actually teaches you how, and what I'm excited about is this entire book sets you up for this chapter. You see, at the beginning of each chapter, I have a two and a half or three minute script of a meditation. You could either read this to yourself and have the experience, or if you can, record yourself on a simple digital recorder and play it back using your own name where I specify. And if you do this with each chapter, by the time you get to chapter five, you will know exactly what I'm talking about, how to drop into this place of deep meditation and silence very quickly. Now, there are some things about this chapter which really help you because it not only shows you how to quiet your mind and how to meditate most easily, but it also shows you how to avoid falling asleep and how you can really apply the principles of meditation to connect with this true place of inner genius that is at the center of who you are. You're going to quickly realize the benefits of what meditation is all about. And I'll also talk about the, a number of additional techniques and technologies that can help you deepen your state of meditation. So learn how to meditate right the first time <laughs> and have a meditation of practice, a uh, meditational practice going on in your own life. I do. I meditated this morning out in the sunshine on the deck in my backyard. It was spectacular.